Next, the Mixed Methods book, Designing and Conducting Mixed Methods Research. It came out in the first edition in 2007. Now it's up to the third edition. And uh, within the next year, we'll be working on a fourth edition. Uh, I do this with my co-author, Vicki Plano-Clark at the University of Cincinnati. I personally feel that Vicki is probably one of the world's leading mixed methods uh, researchers. When we started this book in 2007, we put it together in the first edition very quickly uh, because at that time, there weren't many, really very many books focused on just mixed methods research, especially in terms of the procedures on how to conduct a mixed methods project. Um, so we wanted a procedural book, a methods book. We wanted to include something about philosophy, but our primary idea was um, a book on how to actually design and conduct a study. And over the years with each new edition, we're adding new procedures into this book so that we try to say this is a state-of-the-art book on mixed methods research. It's 490 pages long. It's a very long book, a detailed book. Um, Sage has called it, to me, uh, the industry standard. But, you know, it's been estimated there are something like 300 books on mixed methods research. So it joins this long list of other people writing about mixed methods. I think what Plano Clark and I have done is focused on methods and the procedures. That would be data collection, data analysis, and interpretation, especially designing a mixed methods project. So um, this is not a book that's strong on philosophy. Uh, this is not a book that's strong on ethics, uh, but it's it's about the procedures of doing a good, rigorous mixed methods project.